All right, so just to give you guys a heads up, you know, if you're trying to be sanctified and get into the spirit and be ready for the uh, kingdom of God, there's going to be, I mean, some people are ready in the spirit, but the, the sanctification, the pruning process is not instant. You know, some people I see excel, right? And you can tell that God has really softened their hearts and that's, you know, we don't want to have strongholds. So Satan is attempting to keep them on all of us in any way possible. He will do that, right? The, 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 the uh, watchers, right? Those that climbed up another way, uh, strangers, you know, the whore of Babylon, right? And her daughters, okay, are, and those that are under that umbrella of the, uh, you know, the crown corporation, right? That's ruling over the merchants and the kings of the earth, okay? And who set up the system, they see the, uh, the remnant. They can see us in the spirit. And if they can't target you, like I'm, I've been separating myself in this season, right? For the purpose of being fully sanctified and not having to, uh, you know, I want to be ready. So we repent and we wash ourselves. And this is the length that they'll go to, right? Like this guy, I, I don't know how he came into my feed, right? But uh, it was like, I don't know, probably a month back maybe or something like that. He, he was in my feed. So I didn't remember subscribing to him. And I left a comment. I know not from whence you came. There's a chance I could have subscribed to him and didn't know, but I do not remember subscribing to him. And he's, he, uh, you know, we started talking a little bit and everything. And then, so I've been separated. I've been keeping to myself, right? As he says here, right? So obviously he can see what's going on with me. Not, not that guy, but here. Okay. So it was like, you know, we, we've been talking a little bit here and there, just in comments and stuff. And, uh, he asked me, right? He, he like offered to send me money. I didn't ask where he just offered. Right. And I said, well, if you're ready in debt, $70,000, you know, uh, I don't really want to make it, but I could use it. Right. This was like four, three, four days ago. But I didn't ask for it, but he sent it willfully, right? Okay? And so then I made the video, right, asking for help, right? And he has a problem with it. Now listen to this. Get this. So he, he sent me $210. It hasn't even got here yet, right? Okay? And this proves that he's he's a gaslighter and manipulator because uh, look how he tried to basically tie it into scriptures, right? And he tied it in with the strongs, which... As soon as he told me how much he sent me, I was wondering, well, why did he send 210? And I already looked it up in the Strongs. I already seen this. So you're not telling me nothing I didn't know. Okay. So he just wrote this today, right, in response to my, you know, my post. But uh, he did this with the intention, right, of trying to make me doubt myself, Right. And then he's asking for his money back, right? After I posted the video asking for help or if people wanted to bless me back, he he asked for his money back, right? And I don't, I haven't even got it yet, so I don't have a problem sending it back, you know? I didn't, I wouldn't, didn't want to like, you know, make people feel like they had to send me money or feel bad for me. I was just asking if people wanted to bless me, they could, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, okay? I did that, like I said, I put up my link, I think twice previously, and I didn't ask people, you know, people get money all the time that are ministering online. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's our, I haven't done it for the very purpose of, uh, you know, knowing my reward, reward comes from God. Right. But if you need help, there's no problem in asking for help. Right. And now, but this is supposed to be a brother here. Right. And now you can see there it's people gaslighting. Cause I don't, I've been separating myself, not around, uh, you know, I've just been in a, a season of, uh, you know, sanctification. You know, the uh, process of pruning is not its not pleasant, you know. So it's like, I'm going to do this alone. But if the enemy can, they're going to use the, use the internet I'm seeing now to gaslight. Like, you know, before I posted that video, he asked me if I needed money. And he sent me apparently $210. He didn't tell me how much. Until he just posted it now, right? But you see how now he's basically trying to make me doubt my position, right? So he sent with the with the intention when he sent this money, he sent two hundred ten dollars, right? And now he's trying to make a self fulfilling prophecy, right? The the enemy is always going to sow doubt in your life, 
okay and they're gonna gaslight you and they don't want you getting rid of the strongholds and fully sanctified in the spirit because it's the end of satan's kingdom when the bride rises when the bride of christ rises they're all they're all cast out they're actually parasiting in our blood okay and god says at the end of what two or three joel i think three he's gonna he'll cleanse our blood that he had not cleansed right so the enemy has been parasiting in our blood and this is why they gaslight, because they know if we get them out, they lose their life source, right? Job 4, 10 and 11. The, 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 uh, the young lions, the, the voice of the young and the old lions, right? Perish for lack of prey, and the stout lions' whelps are scattered abroad, and their teeth are broken, right? Go read that one, Job 4, 10 and 11. Once they're, once they're out... What did God say? I forget. He said, I'm, he's, he's terrible. He's going to be terrible to all the gods of the earth, right? And he will famish them, right? They're, they're, they eat dust, right? Like the serpent. That's their food. Dust is a serpent's food. And what is dust? That's man, mankind, right? So they gaslight us. And this is exactly one perfect, perfect example, right? The, uh, you know, I didn't, like I said, I didn't ask him for money. He offered it. And I was like, you know, reluctant to even have him send it. He just sent it anyways, because that's what he felt like doing is what he claims, right? But then you see now he leaves this message here, right? So he specifically did it with the intention. You see, how I, and I, like I said, I looked this up, so I already knew this. He sent $210 so he could make me doubt myself, right? And then ask for it back. I don't really need your money. You claim to be a brother. You're, a, you're gaslighting, okay? I don't know how he even popped up my feed. That's what I mean is this is the, the length that the uh, system will go. And it's going to get a lot worse. It's going to become not just, you know, subtle. It's going to become full-on persecution here pretty soon. Like I just heard Zach from Outpouring Gates Channel say that, you know, there's going to be a shift the second after the, you know, the half, uh, the uh, second half of July, right? It's going to be a shift and it's going to be either the body of Christ moves into to, uh, their position, you know, or it's going to move you into fear. And so the enemy is working hard, right? Like you, you, they go to that length. Like, I don't think this was like me. I don't even remember subscribing to this guy. He thinks that he's more. He thinks he was Isaiah in the past in the Bible. He thinks he's. Uh... So this is all, I think, to sow confusion also in me what like him popping up on my feed right and then having these ideas and stuff and then we start communicating and talking and then he's trying to he's like you know if you don't have a firm foundation in jesus christ if you don't really believe the word of god like the studies that i've provided will give you a foundation okay that i've mentioned every video you know that's my main thing that i've tried to share and it will give you a foundation and they're they're gonna try to uh you know, compromise that and keep strongholds on you, right? And they will gaslight you through the internet, right? It wasn't just him, but, you know, that exposes you right there, the fact that you sent me $210 and then you ask for it back, right? And then you try to tie it in with scriptures. You're exposed. You've exposed yourself, Cain. Okay? You did that intentionally. You knew you were going to try to take it back from me. And then you tie it in, like, you know, to make a self-fulfilling prophecy so anyways that's that's how these people work right and then this guy through the last two weeks uh has tagged me 13 times and uh is mad that i asked for money well i didn't i just said if you want to bless me back if you want to help me so they're, we got gaslighters all around us, and they're getting scared because they know once once they are, God cleans our blood, they will die. They perish for lack of prey, and they're, they're, uh, the children they have in heaven, the sons of the strangers that Isaiah 62 mentions, right? He's not going to give our wine and oil and corn to feed them anymore. It's 62 or 3. It's 62, 8, and 9, I believe, Isaiah. Okay, surely I will no more give thy corn, right, or thy, thy oil, to the sons of the strangers right that's the the young lion's whelp okay They're, they've had children up in the heavens climbed up another way outside of the word of god and now they're doing this to us right they're mad right look at this you met this guy is like mad that i simply asked put my link up once out of since 2016 
right? And I got brothers, so-called brothers, gaslighting me. Anyways, sanctify yourself. Uh, avoid drama, right? But they're going to try to drag you into any way, right? And, you know, the, uh, I think it's, a, what is it, Ezekiel 21, round verse 23. It says, the king of Babylon stood at the parting of the way. Right, which is when we go, okay, when we're when we uh, ascend, okay. The book of Enoch says, "Your children, right, shall mount up higher than the vultures into the into the clefts and crevices of the rocks, okay, in the day of tribulation." But is Ezekiel twenty one around around uh, twenty one twenty three? This is the king of Babylon stood at the parting of the way. They're gonna try to drag us into drama. It's important. That you pray and don't let that happen as the uh, uprising happens, okay? And they're going to be mad. They're going to target those that are not participating, okay? Which exposes them that they're they're frauds and they're just mad. They worship the beast, okay? But yeah, 21, Ezekiel 21. For the king of Babylon stood at the parting of the way, right? That's when the ascension of the body of Christ happens, Okay, at the head of the two ways to use divination, he made his arrows bright. He consulted with the images. He looked in the liver. Okay, and this, listen to this, verse 22. At his right hand was the divination for Jerusalem to appoint captains, right? Uh, to open the mouth in the slaughter, to lift up the voice with shouting, to appoint battering rams against the gate, to cast a mountain, to build a fort. Okay, so they're going to try to block us from ascending. Okay, the king of Babylon is who comes in the picture. Which may be Donald Trump, I don't know. Whoever it is, I think it's, we're going to see it all play out. But, okay. At the parting of the way, the king of Babylon, okay, his, at his right hand was the divination for Jerusalem, right? To control you with spirits through strongholds, to open your mouth in the slaughter, right? To lift up the voice with shouting. They want to get us involved in their drama. To appoint battering rams against the gates, to cast a mount, and to build a fort. And that's the same thing he says in Isaiah 29 he's going to do, okay, to these people. They're, they're, they're going to be brought down to the ground. That's those that have been worshiping the serpent through his gnosis. Okay, read read through that. The strain, their strangers shall be like a multitude of fine dust, and that's why all these lengths, right? And they're mad, right? I shared a link. So what? One time. I've shared good information. I'm not... I'm not asking if you don't want to bless me back for anything that, uh, you know, you don't have to. It's like not like I'm forcing people. I said if they want to and you get I got a brother that's mad at me for it. Right. He's supposedly a brother. No, he's a gaslighter. He's a stranger. OK, and I don't need your money. Right. Send me money. And then the next day, ask for it back. That's gaslighting. You know, and then try to and then try to tie in like a self-fulfilling prophecy with through scripture you already had that planned out before you sent me the money which exposes you like when i heard you saying that you were uh so he also in his video one of his videos he said he had 600 ounces of gold and when i asked him he said it was silver so that right there proves you're a liar and deceiver too and a manipulator so be warned you guys without getting too you know going on and on with this right the enemy, if you're separating yourself, is going to be mad and try to drag you into their drama, right? And try to keep you from, at the parting of the way, they're going to try to block you from going. Like, I just read those verses again, right? But he's going to famish all the gods of the earth, right? What do you say? These people, the people on earth think they're gods, but you shall perish like men and fall like one of the princes, right? I think it's Psalm 82 or 83. Okay, so anyways, I love you guys. This is being in here. It's not comfortable, you know, but once we get fully into the spirit, it's going to be bliss, heaven on earth, right? And God's going to pour it out upon the, the people on earth that, you know, weren't wicked and serving, worshiping the beast. Okay, the, that's the flock. God will cut off the people that worship the uh, Antichrist. He's cutting them all off. Okay, and don't let them gaslight you. So God bless you.